Dad? Hello, Ms. Glimmer. How is your friendship problem search going? I only ask as an interested observer, since I know you are an adult who's capable of doing things without help from any pony else. Actually, I think Sunburst and I figured out what it is. So, Stellar and I weren't really helpful after all. Well, we haven't actually solved it. And I don't think we can. Not without you. <laughs> Pungent! Oh, did you come by to be driven crazy by more of your mother's plans? No, I came to apologize. Well, it's going to take more than an apology to make up for telling me you don't want my help finding your friendship problem. Oh, I'm not sorry for that. Starlight and I already figured out what the problem is. This is a terrible apology. Well, if you come with me and help fix it, I'll give you a better one. Usually, Twilight or one of our other friends gets called to a place with a friendship problem to fix. But Starlight and I realized we came here to fix a friendship problem we already had. I'm sorry I've been avoiding coming home, Dad, but you can't keep treating me like a foal. I'm sorry, Sugar Bun. <sighs> I just know how hard things were for you when you left home. I guess I wanted you to feel safe, like when you were young. Dad, I know I've made some mistakes, and I'll probably make a bunch more. But I learn from them. I think that's what growing up is. I'm sorry I never told you how much your plans bothered me, and I know you just want me to succeed, but I need to do that on my own. I remember how lost you were when you flunked out of magic school. I thought, as long as you had a plan, you'd never feel that way again. You don't have to worry, Mom. I need to find my own way. I definitely don't feel lost anymore. <laughs> the glowing cutie mark is such a symbol of accomplishment. I don't suppose there's a way for you to get it to glow all the time. <laughs> Pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Not unless we solve a friendship problem every few seconds, and I kind of hope this one will be it for a while. You know, it seems to me your map is saying we're not just your parents. <laughs> We're your friends, too. I guess so. So, if I promise to treat you less like a little filly and more like a friend, will you visit more? Absolutely. Mm. And if you start to drive me crazy again, I'll tell you instead of never coming home. That's lovely of you to say, dear. But you know, I can always visit you. Stellar, you're a genius! <laughs> How do you feel about a road trip? I might have a few plans for that. <laughs> <laughs>